Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey with me, Matthew Gaddis, aka Cody. So today we will um, get a few more um, power moves here in the Ocean Kingdom. Yes, I was wrong. It is actually in the next episode we will actually pursue Bowser to his supposed hideout. So yes, and so let's actually um, take a room through the magma. And, indeed, we are going to find, eventually, a secret area here in uh, the uh, Lunchin Kingdom. So, yeah. And, um, back here with the, um, what's the, um, Fire Bros as well. But I don't want to go to the Fire Bros, actually. No! No! The running around in the magma with the Fire Bros, uh, with the Kurobu is so very fun, even if I do die. Yeah, seriously, I didn't press the A button in time, I don't think. So, with that said, well, let's try that again, shall we? Yes, because exploration is one of the things I love about Super Mario Odyssey. Yes. Um, but, that being said, there's a lot of some cheese blocks here, so... Where do I want to go? I don't want to go to the meat plaza. Not yet, no. We cannot get the uh, thing there, so I want to go back to the remote island. Yes, I do. Yeah, stupidly, I know, but let's see. Where have we been here? Well, I am going to run about. Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's get you. Very nice. And proceed to uh, swim through the lava. And go to the other side where we will get um, um, where I'm actually headed. Actually, is for a uh, an area with the thing. Also, uh, there is a taking notes section here. I think I've done this, but let's see. Let's follow the notes as it goes. One here, and then we have to jump out of the thing. Let's see. We've already got that one, but yeah. We got that taking notes uh, thing, but never mind. Um, it's there. Um, it's time to jump with the poodle boot at the very end. Um, so, yeah, here's the area with the scarecrow I wanted to go to. Fling a cappy on the scarecrow, and we're going to have to lose him here. Kind of like how we lost Flood. However, um, given that I am not so proficient at cappy throws, at jumping, and everything, uh, that may not be a bad thing. The annoying thing about this course is that uh, the um, um, rotating rolling platforms can be rather annoying to deal with with Mario because they are always uh, shaped as if they will push you downwards. So yeah, and timing is everything here. Yes, seriously, it's one of those courses. So, uh, that being said... Let's go over here and carefully make our way over. Again, you can, um, if you are much better at wall jumping than I am, you can easily jump over the uh, things there, but obviously not me, because I am shit. I am absolutely shit at this. So, yeah. Good thing um, um, this game is engineered for such failure. So, that being said, um, where do I want to go? And then that turns. Yeah, timing is everything. I've, I've said that. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Now, there are spines on these uh, rotating circular platforms, and they can get you. And there is no way to knock them back with it, unlike like we normally do with Cappy. So yeah, so we have to outrun them, that means. That ain't easy. That is not easy. And getting down there. And yeah, getting over here. Jumping over here is a chore as well. Sorry, my 
commentary seems lacking, and I think I'm going to skip ahead to where I do get past the uh, annoying spinies. Okay, then, we're back. Now, screw you, spiny. So, um, um, basically, time is everything. I was looking with a double jump there, but I want to wait until this platform shifts. There we go. There are also some kingdom coins, but I'm not going to bother with them. So yeah, um, one thing of note will, will, will happen with each of the platforms before they move is that they will rumble a little bit. That is your cue to jump, so yeah. Um, you can do a long jump, but I am not so good at doing that. No, I am not. So jump, there we go. Rumble, jump, so yeah. And, oh boy, this is going to be tough. Rumble, jump. Then, there's the power moon. So yeah, that's the trick to it. So, spinning athletics end goal. So yeah, I am not going to try and get any other power moons in this area. So I'm just going to leave and leave it till later. So, we've got Cappy back. So I think it's time to go and do more exploring here. Before we, um, in the next episode, head to um, where Bowser is. Excuse me. So indeed, capture the Poodle Boo. Don't go over the edge, Mario! Don't do that! Yeah. We don't want that happening again. We've done that enough in Super Mario 64 and many other Mario games. So, uh, let's see. We have a flinging fork there. Uh, that will just give us more coins, but never mind. And remember this area? Yeah, this is where that seed was, if you'll remember. I don't know if the seed is still here now, but let's see. Uh, no, I want to get rid of the piranha plant's head. Yes, I know, that sounds weird, but there you go. So let's see what's up here now that we've moved the gigantic meat. As you can see, there, are no, there is no more um, gigantic ham here. Just the salt in which we jumped upon as a giant piece of ham. Seriously. Which, I guess it is what it is. So let's see, get you. No, I don't get you. Okay, well, with that said, um, no, let's actually um, jump down. I read in your grave. Okay, wrong game. Um, yeah, we can go down there. Uh, we have a ground pound bit there. Uh, nothing else. So, let's see, the cheese blocks are over there. We can't actually capture any um, pan bros. There is, however, uh, there are, plural, um, two um, uh, fire bros there, but I don't want to, to capture them. No, I don't. Instead, I want to go, well, um, in a certain direction. Or maybe not, maybe I'm just winging it. Yeah, probably I'm just winging it here in the, the Lunchin Kingdom, so why don't I go... Well, actually, there is something at the top of Mount Volbono. Yes, there is. There is actually a power moon we can actually get at the top of Mount Volbono. And I, I am shouting myself in my head here why I didn't go for it earlier in the, um, in the episode, but yeah. There isn't anything else there, and that's just where I jumped off earlier. Foolishly jumped off, I might add. Earlier in the, um, let's play. So, yeah. Oh, in the episode, even. So, yeah, we can't get through this cheese block, because there are no, um, things there. So, yeah. Looks like I am just winging it. So, I want to actually go to the top of the peak climb. Yes, I do. Because, as I say, I am now going to attempt uh, what is in the uh, thing. So, yeah. Let's capture a Podobu here and see what has happened to the stupendous shoe now that we have saved it from uh, the Cookatiel. So, um, indeed, inside the stupendous shoe, um, there are multiple vegetables, yes, but there is also a note. And this tests our jumping skills once again with the Podo Boom. So, yeah. And each time generating a new lot of um, notes. Uh, 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 this one is a little bit harder because 
Um, just say, um, because you have to time your jumps. And you know how I am with timing, so, yeah. Which is weird, because the portal is easily one of the best um, characters to control here in uh, Super Mario Odyssey, if you ask me. Yes, seriously, it is. Uh, why did I jump there? Why the hell did I jump there? That is just lazy. That is just utterly lazy. I know I'm quite a lazy person, but for crying out loud, man. Crying out loud. Right, so now I want to head to the left. Jump over! Jump again! That's it! Then head upwards, and there we go. Now we have to do three jumps in a row, and this one's going to be tough. So jump! Uh, fuck. And jump! And jump! And I think that was all of them. Yep, we got them all. A tight squeeze there. Or tight timing, I don't know. But we get that one, so... Yes, big pot swim. Ooh, I also get some health there if we wish. So yeah, if we jump off here, we will... We can land further down, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to... Well, I might do that, but I'll do it off-screen. So, in the next episode, we will actually chase down Bowser. So, until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!